So this is the brand new Samyang 85mm f1.4 Mark II. Follow on from that very highly successful uh, Mark I version of the autofocus, which again was a follow on from the manual focus version. The first Mark I came out in, well, is it announced in March 2019? So this is a long and eagerly waited lens. The Mark I was very successful and expecting very good things from this. So let's get some things out of the way. I'm not a reviewer. I'm not a really YouTuber, to be honest, even though obviously I have a channel. In parts, this review may be awful. Generally is, to be honest, but I did want to show the lens off. I did want to kind of share a couple of my first kind of feelings with it, using it. Obviously I say I'm not a reviewer, but I am a successful full-time videographer and photographer. Um, this, this is why we're in a church, because I generally spend most of my time videoing churches uh, here in the beautiful Cumbria. So with that out of the way, why don't we get onto some of my first thoughts about this lens. So when I first saw this lens, my first thoughts was it's not much bigger than the 50mm, uh, the Mark II that is. Not much in it like at all. Um, it's actually more glass on the top of the 85mm, but the filter thread is actually the same size. Weight wise, 85mm is a slightly bit heavier, but again, not really much difference. In terms of comparisons, it's lighter than the Sigma and also lighter than the Sony version. It's similar kind of size, there's not much difference between them, but it does feel fairly compact. It's got a nice bit of weight to it, obviously, but it's not too heavy. Having the same filter thread as the 50mm just makes things a little bit easy in terms of when I'm swapping out lenses. I want to do everything fairly quick. Same with, with it having a similar weight, which is a godsend to be honest, makes it very, very, very simple to swap out if I'm using a gimbal. So the lens itself, a couple of buttons on the side, the custom switch just here, M1 or M2. M1 gives you the normal focus ring. And M2, which I prefer ring, changes that to an aperture ring. There's no click in it, so it's really smooth. And the button just below it, is a customizable button. I'll be completely honest, I don't really use it that much. Photography first. This lens is fast, it's sharp, beautiful, beautiful bokeh on it. There's no spherical glass in the lens like there is many. That basically gives the bokeh balls almost like a like a nice circle. It's there's no donut kind of there's no kind of fringing around it. So it gives it a beautiful, beautiful look. It's kind of creamy, dreamy look. But a lot of people laugh when they're shooting portraits. Not that shoot portraits, to be honest. I kind of expected that. When I saw it, it was very similar to the 50mm. I love the 50mm. That's generally my go-to lens. So this, again, I was kind of expecting it to be sharp and fast. When it comes to the autofocus, like I said, it's fairly fast. What it also does is tracks very, very well. The first version of the 85mm was, was great for photography, but it, was, it was, wasn't quite as fast as what this is. As you can see in this little video here, it's tracking even at f1.4 very, very well. The video is what I was interested in. Because my business is pretty much 90% a video at the moment, especially during this very, very busy wedding, wedding season, this is what I was really keen to kind of test it out with. I was very surprised. The this feels better autofocusing than the than the 50 mil. I'm not quite sure if that was the lighting or the subject. It just felt a little bit tighter. It just felt like it tracked the subject a little bit nicer. It just felt everything would just kind of just come together a bit better, and it almost seemed like it it picked the better subject rather than what was right in front of it, which this did. I know it's kind of stupid to say, and it's probably all in my head, but this just feels just a little bit nicer than the 50 mil. So overall, I think for video, I'm not that I'm gonna compare it to the G Masters or anything like that, but for video, it, it's brilliant. Obviously with that aperture and having customizable buttons on it as well, like I said, 50 mil is one of my favorite lenses. So this, paired with the 50 is just going to be an absolute godsend, especially when I'm shooting on something like the FX3 like I am now. It's just going to be gorgeous. So downsides. Um, well, to be honest, I'm an ambassador for Samyang. I am fairly biased when people 
obviously you speak about Sam Young, I'm, I'm very proud of the company that I work with. But on the same page, I don't like to lie to people. I'm not going to say it's the greatest thing in the world. I physically can't compare it to the, the G Master, the G Master or the Sigma, because um, I don't use them, I don't have them. I have done in the past. And when I said I don't lie, I'll be completely honest, the G Master will probably be ever so slightly sharper. It probably will be slightly faster auto-focusing. But then again, it's a lot more money. We don't have any exact prices yet, so I'm not going to discuss that. But the G Master will be double the price of what this is. Is it double the quality? I, I very much doubt it. I mean, it's the same with the, the 50 mil as well. The G Master 50 mil, obviously the 1.2 is 1.2 compared to 1.4. But the difference in it isn't enough to warrant me spending my money on the G Master compared to the Samyang version. If you look at anybody else's reviews, like Tom Carlton's or Dustin Abbott's, the sharpness, the auto-focusing, yes, it's not quite there, but it's damn close. So for me, I'd be picking this all the time. And because I'm a full-time worker, I'm not just a YouTuber. I need these to work, and I need them to work every single time with weddings. I'm not doing commercial shoots where I can redo it. I'm doing weddings one chance, that is it. It needs to perform. So there you have it. A probably awful quick review of a first look at this brand new lens by a non-reviewer type person. I'm sure, like I said before, Dustin Abbott, Tom Carlton, and all the other people will be having a look at this lens and doing a proper review, putting it through its paces uh, fairly soon. So look out for them ones. If you don't like this one, feel free to let me know how what you think of it. Um, I'm generally fairly active as well on YouTube. If you do want to send me a message, even if you want to send me on, on my Instagram, all the details are on there. Feel free to send me a message and I'll try to answer as many questions as I can. Like I said, there's limited details. We don't have prices and of course prices change, obviously in the UK, the US, wherever it might be. So thanks very much for listening. I'll try and keep it short and sweet. Um, but until the next one, take it easy.